Hello, welcome to the final video on equations and inequations topic. Uh, very short and sweet topic, just three videos this time. And this one is looking at inequations or inequalities as they're sometimes known. Now, we've already worked with these before at level four, we know what inequalities are, but just in, just as a wee reminder, inequalities are, instead of giving you an equality like two X is equal to six, we're looking at an inequality by saying something is not equal to or can be not equal to. So such like x is greater than 3 or y is less than or equal to 7. <laughs> These are all stuff that we've seen before, but that is the difference here. Now you're actually going to learn something new, so you're not going to copy around every slide. But this first one is a revision slide of what we did in National 4. Now, on a similar idea in scale to equations like we did before, we solve these by doing the same processes, but instead of having an equal sign or an inequality, we've got an inequality. So we're going to do the same processes, plus the two to both sides, subtract x from both sides, and that's going to leave us with 3x is greater than 8. So divide by 3, divide by 3, x has got to be greater than 8 over 3. Okay, you'll have seen that before, you'll have seen the theory behind that before, so I'm not going to spend too much time going into it. Uh, the one place where we do have a bit of new theory to learn is, is this place here. So there is one more step we have to be considerable of, and they like to examine at National 5 as well. Now, just briefly, do not copy this slide down. We're going to look at the, the set x is greater than 3, so starting off uh, with 4 there. 5 and then 6 and going on and on and on. These are all the integers. Obviously, there's more than that in there. There's uh, like 3.5 would be greater than 3 and uh, 3.1 and 4.7 and stuff. But I'll just kind of get an example there looking at the integers now. If we look at this set then of 2x, now we know that if x is greater than 3, then 2x is greater than 6. And it will include, based on these numbers here, 8, 10 and 12 and so on. Now, there's, again, obviously there's going to be more in between, but there's an example of things that if x is greater than 3, 2x is greater than 6, which might be 10 and 12. But what if we look at the negative value? Now, if we look at negative x, then if we divide the left-hand side by negative, then also we'd have to divide the right-hand side by negative as well. So if x was 4, 5, 6 and so on, then negative x would have to be bigger than negative 3. But if we take that set of numbers, take the 4 there, make it negative, that means negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, put all these numbers and so on, negative 7, negative 8, would actually be less than negative 3. Okay, negative 4 is a lower value than negative 3. Now what that is there is, if we ever have to divide by a negative, if we ever, ever have to take a negative version of what we're looking at, we have to change the sign, we have to flip the inequality so it points a different direction to make the inequality hold true. Now that bit there is why, that half there, when you divide by negative, it flips the whole thing, you need to, you need to point in a different direction. So that here, that is the key point, the key new bit of information we need to use. If ever you divide by a negative number, you change the inequality, the inequality is all the way around. So here's an example. Okay, this can go back in your notes. So we're going to do the same thing, add 2, add 2, subtract 7x, subtract 7x, which gives me negative 2x is less than 12. Now the next step is to divide by negative 2. Okay, so that leaves me with x and it leaves me with negative 6. But because I have divided by this negative, I need to flip inequality. So it was a less than or equal to. Now it's going to be a greater than or equal to and that's my final answer. Okay, now that's the difference. That's the only difference between inequalities in National 4 and National 5. Okay, same script here, nice and easy. Take the brackets. Okay, multiply everything by 4. It'll be 4 x plus 28 minus 3 is still there is greater than or equal to 10 x plus 9. Uh, so that's really 4x plus 25 is greater than or equal to 10x plus 9. Take away 10x, take away 10x, take away 25, take away 25, 
that gives me negative 6x there. It is greater than or equal to negative 16. Okay, next step, dividing by a negative number. Oh, oh I'm dividing by a negative. I need to flip the inequality. Okay, need to try and have done. So I know I've got x. I know I've got all well, those negatives there will cancel out. Okay, those negatives there will cancel out. And leave it as a positive 16 over 6 or 8 over 3. But because I divided by this negative, that greater than or equal sign now becomes a less than or equal than sign. Okay. Okay, now we can do everything we do with equations here. We just have to be careful any time we divide by negative we the same. Okay, so here uh, we've got thirds and fifths, so we're multiplying by the lowest common multiple or thirds and fifths, so we're multiplying by fifteen. So look at that one, two thirds of fifteen is really ten x. That one a fifth of fifteen is really minus two is less than that multiplied by fifteen is fifteen. Oh I've made a mistake there. Oh geez, that second one a fifth of fifteen is three. Fifteen times one is there, and then lastly three fifths of fifteen is 9, so it's minus 9x. Again, same as before when I was harking back to another video. Now we've got a nice easy inequality to solve, so I'm adding 3, I'm adding 3 to there. Uh, let's add 9x and add 9x. Okay, so that's 19x, it's less than 18, divided by by 19 divided by 19. Okay, I'm dividing by a positive, so I don't have to flip any sign, so it's x is greater than, is less than, sorry, 18 over 19. Okay, lovely. That's, yes, that's me done. Okay, so now there's five examples. Uh, again, kind of varying and difficulty going from quite easy with no flipping negatives, just a lot of different things involving fractions as well. Pause it, give it a wee shot. Come in and ask for help of your teacher if necessary. Pause it and I'll put answers up in a second. There you go. Right. Cheers. Any questions, ask your teacher. Thank you very much.